Howdy, y'all! Sorry. What's going on, everybody? Most guys, and welcome back to more Let's Play Gold Sun. Last time we did the majority of Lavica Desert, except this. Are you kidding me? I hate you. Can I just fight him? Good. I'll take the damage. Oh man, we don't even. Oh, I even. Uh oh. Um. Well, I guess we're gonna be fighting with a new fighting style here today. <laughs> Oh boy, this is actually gonna suck a lot. All right, wait, what do we have? Granite, cord, wow, so Isaac is seriously just the healer at this point. Inflict damage with a shockwave. That's actually a pretty cool move. Oh man, um, I did not mean to do this. I, <sighs> okay, everything's gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. Ha 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 ha. Help. <laughs> Let's start with boosting my stuff here. Cutting edge. Well, super effective. That's, the cutting edge is actually very good. Any damage, good, good. Mad Blast. Okay, so this is the Manticore. This is level 20. First time we've seen someone with level 20. That's 1,700 hit points. Uh, we won't spoil what junk gold and XP he drops. Um, he's also the first monster, which you saw just there. He got attacked a second time there. He's the first monster that we ever fight that has the ability to um, uh, attack twice in a turn. Also, you'll see the skulls are actually a little bit different from before. Those are red skulls. I mean, I think it said he was badly poisoned. So, uh, yeah, be careful. Be careful, Lincoln's dangerous to go along, etc, etc. What can we use? I guess... Uh, I guess I'd still want to use the water spell. So I guess we'll have her use Ice Horn! Yeah, so Ice Horn uses 11 PP and attacks 3 instead of comparatively to Ice, which uses 5, and I can only attack one person. So it's an upgrade. And I really hope I didn't make a bad mistake and just killed Mia by not healing this time. Oh! Maybe we'll use Spritz next turn. Oh good. 12 damage. Good job, buddy. Very proud of you. What a stupid thing for him to do. Um, he also has the ability to use Curse. Um, curse! After 8 turns? You'll get Actually, we've seen Curse before, but I never really discussed it. Should we just use Spritz? I think we'll go another turn without using So we'll use Fizz. Um, curse! When it's effective, you'll see... Three flames appear above your head. Oh wait, now we can do some more thing. There we go, Gust. Ah, how did I not notice that? And you can use Ice Horn again. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, fire hat! Um, curse, <laughs> you'll see four flames appear above your head. In each turn, one the uh, flame will go down by half. And after all eight all eight turns have gone by, your character will automatically die. Kind of a pointless move, because most battles have done eight turns anyways. But still, it's kind of daunting as delude. Um, so, he has the ability to poison tail, which, as you saw before, um, can badly poison people, which does double the amount of damage as poison normally does. Um, what do we use? Garrett keys heat wave. Or do you want him to attack? No, because he doesn't have the synergy set. It's not gonna be very good. Will really heal? Uh, will heal Ivan? Um, he also uses the ability to use Impair, which uh, lowers your attack, Delude, which... Oh, crap. What does that do? Is that Delusion? Yeah, I guess it would be Delusion. Delude, yep, that makes sense. 454 damage. Good god, man. That's insane. Um, he also has the ability to use Map Blast, Nova, and Curse, which we've discussed in many of them already. Great! Thanks to Thor there, he should actually be kind of close to dying already. Oh, man. Hey! It didn't poison me. 55, wow. Uh, me down by exactly half. Granite? Yeah, it's a good time to use that. Fever. Wait a minute. Or... Oh, wait! Awesome! We could actually use... Oh, wait! We could actually use a... Uh, oh, man. Let's use the healing ring. Perfect. He's Boreas now, which is great. This round should maybe kill him, I hope? I'm just thinking about, like, how much crazy damage the healing ring has actually been pretty helpful to us. I'm very surprised. Maybe we've seen that before. Although maybe I shouldn't have skipped it. It's a pretty okay cutscene. 620. Holy crap. 590 experience points and 3,400 coins. Here's up to Psy Crystal. And just to laugh at her face. I'm gonna take that damage. Thank you, Kaita. Oh man, this is all gonna recover. Mm -hmm. There we go. One more. One more. Hit me. Hit me. And with that, we made it to the overworld. And before we go any farther here, 
I will say... Oh, man, my notes are falling apart. Uh-oh, because I took that steam out last time. <gasps> uh, world map. The only new, the only enemy we've seen before that we will now see here is fighter bees. Fighter bees! Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no! Um, Spritz? Can you... Come oh, there we go. Great. Can you come alive, Spritz? Thank you, Spritz. Oh, Augusta needs to recover. Two, wow, 229 hit points now. Is, is she hit? Nope, she doesn't have more hit points. Crazy, seeing like so such high hit points. So if you run around here in this very plus symbol <laughs> area, you'll see there's a Venus Jin named Va. Va I mean, nothing. Oops. <laughs> Uh, he has 421 hit points, and uh, just one off from the 420s. Uh, maybe they did on purpose, who knows. Um, his ability is Gaia, Mad Growth, Quake Spear, Briar, Clay Sphere, and also the ability to flee. Hopefully we'll be able to see something new. There we go, Gaia. It looks painful. Look down, rips itself apart from below you. Uh, looks awfully like a fool. Uh, you know what, let's just use Ragnarok. Ragnarok! And I'll just use Heat Wave, I guess. Maybe use Fireball. See, the reason why I've been using Heat Wave is because it only attacks one person, which normally means it'll do more damage. I guess we'll use Gust. Gust? He a little bit of sleet. And he's dead. Does none of that matter. <laughs> 299 experience points. Gears now level 17. HP goes up by 8. PP by 3. Attack by 4. Defense by 2. Agility by 4. 360 coins. <laughs> And just like that, he gets the Vizhini Vine joined Isaac. Great! So now we have the ability to see the fourth summon from uh, Isaac. Um, actually, what we should do here, I, mean, I should really um, use that instead. I don't know why I haven't been. So, oh good lord man. Vine has the ability to tangle foes and drop his agility. So, it drops agility. <laughs> It was a base plus 12 HP, which I think is the highest HP plus we've ever seen so far. Uh, plus 4 PP, plus 3 defense, and luck plus 1. And it lowers the enemy's agility by 50%, so that's good to know. Um, there's nothing over here. Oh, we can't even go that way, never mind. Haha, -ha, I'm a fool. Alright, let's head waste. And there we go, Mad Vermin, and a fighter which you've already seen. So here's Vine, Tail of Foes. And we'll just defend with everybody else here, because next turn we're going to want to use that fourth level spell, and I'll probably kill him. So, this is a Mad Vermin. So, level 15 has 131 hit points, drops 80 gold, 55 experience points, and a 3.125% chance to drop a, uh, an herb. Judgment. The Might of the Apocalypse. So, I said Thor used to be my favorite summon spell. This is definitely my favorite summon spell now, and you'll probably see why. It's awesome. Um, anything else on Mad Vermin before he gets wiped off the face of the planet? Uh, they have the ability to use Onslaught, which is a uh, bit of extra damage. Here we go! Gets a shield cannon, shoots down a ball of energy, and essentially nukes everything. Welp! 327 damage, and 182. I was gonna say, if that didn't kill everybody, I'd be very sad. <laughs> Uh, continue to head west here. Nah, no, nothing new, dang it. Let me see something here, you know. A little bit of some, some. With that, we only have one more uh, summon spell to see from Garrett. So we'll get to see that soon, Mr. Garrett. Now wait on you, brother. Garrett kind of reminds me of Daru from uh, Breath of the Wilds. I don't know that. I was level 17! I master the mage's binds. I some HP is by 7, goes up by 7, PP by 4, attack by 4, defense 1, agility 4, and a bunch of coins. So we've actually seen bind before. It does exactly what um, the weapons have done before. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that chirp. Kalei. Probably my favorite town in the entire game. I love this place. Welcome to Kalei. You may enter as long as you don't disturb the peace. Um, I had a lot of notes for this place. 
Uh, hmm, this young warrior has awesome good demeanor. Man, like that is never evil. That's a bad thing to assume. <laughs> we soldiers protect peace and kill it with our lives. I feel like a soldier shouldn't think anyone is going to be good. Like, ah, oh, I'm going to let my guard down. Chose requires us to judge whether we allow a visitor to Kalei. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes more sense. The bridge to the north was destroyed by lava. Thankfully, it's been rebuilt since then. <gasps> that sounds familiar. Lord Hammett's soldiers went to fall after the bridge was rebuilt. The place has been very quiet ever since. Hello? That also, that story's wrong! He went there before, because the bridge broke after he got there. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, if you use catch there, you get a nut. I need to be able to do this, I already forget. Nope, we don't. There's the vial in here! Awesome a possum. Hmm. What is it? Oh, it's a sanctum! You can live in peace in Calais as long as you practice goodwill. You may spread goodwill, but Lord Hammond seems to be a source of that goodwill. This is not good. That's silly. Freaking religion, man. How dare these people be happy? I want them to be happy from religion. That's essentially what he's saying. Lord Hammett, the founder of Clay, is a great merchant. Is he? Lord Hammett's love for liberty and peace gave birth to this town. Come on, welcome to the final. Ah, just when I wanted to see the weapon shop. Fine, kind of suit. Whoa. Oh, they're actually playing. We've already seen Elven Rapier. We've dealt with that one, right? These are kind of starting to blend together a little bit. The Frost Wands! Uh, ooh, what do you want to get rid of? I think... We're going to give it to my... Mia. <laughs> Based on the fact that uh, it's more effective for her. And she has a stinking battle mace without an ability, so... Maybe you do that. Wow, that costs 5,400 coins. RIP. Anything else for anyone? I don't think so. I think we're okay on the attack front at this point. Great axe. Ooh. 211. That's worth it. That is definitely worth it. We'll leave it on Gare. That's only an additional four. Dang it. Freaking. <sighs> I kind of don't like the inventory sometimes in this game. We'll sell that. See if we need to sell it anyways. We'll sell the sleeping bombs. Don't really need those at the moment. We'll buy, yeah, we'll buy the great axe. And my axe! I have exactly 7,500 coins now. Perfect. What else do we want to do outside here? Um, go over here. Let's say Lord Hammond went north from full after the monolith erupted. No one knows what happened to him or his caravan after that. There's so many rumors now, no one knows what the truth is. I can put the rumors about Lord Hammond being captured by thieves out of my head, but the Lord's wife. Uh, Leanna speaks a little bit. Interesting, I had no idea Lumpa was just north of fault. It's funny that a city of merchants would be so close to the city of these. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, the irony. My son received his knack for business from Lord Hammett. My son is very tight with money, even when it comes to me. It feels like I'm living with a merchant. Actually, he is one. Oh, you silly goose. Uh, it's a Calais salad with cucumber and yogurts. I can't imagine what it tastes like. Ooh, I can't. Is there anything in here? Actually, I could just... Yeah, there is something in here. I said, look at my notes, I could just use reveal all the time. Love coins. The most important skill for a merchant is the ability to discern quality. Anyone who could do that can be a successful merchant these days. Oops. The most important thing is not to betray your customers. Trust me, learn how his lessons are more precious to me than treasure. That will make me a lot of money. Evil. Yeah, it sucks. Just knowing whenever you're like talking to someone, sell you something. Just knowing how ingenuine they are. It sucks. They just want to make money off you. Kelly sets up the great crosswords. She lies east, Toby west. It's the perfect place to do business. Hamek chose to build Kelly here because it's a prime training location. Lord Hamek is truly a smart man. Guess at the inn, our tourists are the way to Colossal. It seems like a lot of hus hassle to travel to Toby just for a caravan. Actually, I wish I were going to Colossal. I should have saved my money then. I could go on that tour too. <laughs> I remember that there's trouble in the Lamican Desert. Yep, there sure is. Nope. Green of the well. It's a very clean, well-maintained well. Showing off at this point, aren't you, Kalei? Certain things have been happening all across the line lately. What in the world is the world coming to? Go up here. Well, I'll talk to this lady first. Lord Hammond is still with his caravan business. I wonder where he could be now. So his appearance, Lord Hammond's going to be very rash. So I'm worried. It's interesting that no one seems to know that Hammond is probably captured? I mean, no one knows for sure. We did hear he was going north. I mean, we did hear the guards when he we went to check out Lumpa say something about Hammond. So he's probably trapped. If we go in here, 
push this very inconspicuous statue all the way and we'll see something coming to view. Oh, what is that? Oh! oh. If we cover the water here, which is probably not a good idea. Rip aqueducts. You guys don't need water, right? Pfft, don't worry about it. Hello, my friend. You know that? Everyone has their fourth. Um, someone unleashes. Marsh Ginny uh, Scorch joined Gertz. He sure did. Um. Um. Are you kidding me? I don't have this pulled up. What? What? What, my grill? One second. And I'm back. Okay, so Scorch gives you a plus 8 HP bonus. Base. <laughs> and a plus a 3 attack. Um. Effective unleash about Stun a foe with a blast attack. So this is actually super powerful. It does an additional uh, 50 points of damage. And also has the ability to stun. So that's good. Yeah, there's a gate there, by the way. So you can't even go that way if you wait with two. Can just move on here. Okay, then. Oh, you can't move it. Interesting. Really? That feels just wrong. Huh. I wanted to move it so the water came out. If you run this way, this is a waste of time. There's nothing here. But I do want to show it anyways. So let's see here. There's like all these like cool sewage systems, which is really cool. Hmm. There's actually someone you could talk to that talks about it, how like the success of this town is also owed to the as to the aqueducts as well as like the merchants. Locked room with a bunch of treasure chests, eh? But there's nothing we can actually do down here yet. Uh, as you can probably imagine, eventually there'll be something here. <gasps> I'm in jail! Let me out! Let me out! I. Ugh. Clay Tunnel. Kaylee Tunnel? Clay? I don't actually know how to pronounce that. This is actually. I remember getting lost in here as a kid. I already actually feel lost. Is it this way? Please tell me it's this way. Phew, I think it's this way. Good. <laughs> It really sucks because I'm actually super tired. It is actually 2.04 a.m. right now. Um, I need to wake up early tomorrow as well. Um, so we're going to finish this episode up here in a few minutes. So the North has become the center of attention much lately. Why is that? Three years ago, thieves raided Mount Aleph. It's quite a story ever since the North has lost its reputation for being a safe place. Yep, sure sucks. Merchant from Vault has been saying many things about the North. Uh, then the soldiers came and took him to Lord Hammond's palace. Interesting! say that other northern parts are dangerous too. Maybe our is the only place that is still safe. For now. He's making curry. He! The girl's... At least she's at the stove. You'd think she'd be the one cooking if she's on the side of the stove, right? The spicy sand makes the mouth like... Wait a minute, or is this game just not telling me something? Mmm. Um, is there anything else here? House bottom more I bear... Okay. Now, well, first let's go check out this house, shall we? I was allowed to go to fall even though this bridge has been rebuilt. I doubt, but I doubt because of the, of the amount of eruption. I don't know, but I don't, I don't want my father ordering me around. What? I don't want my son to face any danger. I'm actually grateful for Lady Lady New order. So yeah, as an order, no one can go to vault, apparently. Oh, oh, wait, what? Really? Oh, snap. Did I have that written down? Oh, I did. Okay, I did. <laughs> right, so that's funny. This old man is bad. This guy. Also, this is the armor guy. That really kind of bugs me that we're using the sprites. A lot more than it did before, actually. There's actually something here I missed. Uh, in the oh no, wait, no, my aggro. It was in the barrel. Right, right. It was like a smoke bomb or something, wasn't it? Interestingly enough, I mean, it's not really interesting. It's just, it's just something I find funny. Um, also, what is with these swords? That's ridiculous. There is no need for a sword to be that thick. I'm the salesman now. Get out of here. Okay, we're not really the salesman. Fine. Uh, is there anyone else I want to talk to? Oh, I think it's this lady here, actually. Le- uh, Leanna- I keep on saying, like, Lanier- Lanieru for some reason. Jared, Lord Hammond's hardships made Belle Calais. Her love for this town is why we flourish. The aqueducts in Hammond's palace are another reason why Calais- for it. There we go, that's what I also wanted to see. <laughs> and it's back for business, the reason why Calais has flourished. Um, I don't think there's any armor I could buy, we'll talk to you in a second, though. I came to Calais because I didn't like Tolby. You wanna know why? 
Miss Babby, the rule of Toby frightens me. It has ruled Toby for more than a hundred years, they say. Huh. I'm shocked to hear that the righteous thieves of Lumpa have gone bad. They say Lumpa's grandson is responsible for it. The region out north of Vault was once a safe place, but now it is very dangerous. So, if you couldn't figure it out, we can now go back to Vault and the Vale and other areas. So we're going to be doing that next after we're done with Kalei here. She's toasting some bread. It smells great. Yum. Uh, Lumpa's Lumpa was a kind thief. His son Dompa, he's an honorable thief too, but he's, he's still old, but he was just. Lumpa's grandson Dompa is another story. He doesn't even think twice about doing evil. <laughs> evil! His reputation is very bad nowadays. Ooh, I'm sure, I'm sure it is. Is there any armor we could buy? Any artifacts? My, my, you have good taste. Nope. For a second, I thought I pressed A and I bought something I didn't want to. Chainmail. Ooh. Mm, that's probably pretty worth it, to be honest. That is not, however. Gauntlet. Uh, 112. That's actually pretty good. Heavy armlet. That's. You'll do that. 10. If it's double digits, you know it'll be good. Dream tickets. Ooh. Only a few more. That's pretty good as well. Uh, Alright, we're gonna take it. Oh my good lord, I hate! <sighs> so this, <laughs> this is a catch-22 of um, collecting everything that's got- oh, wait! Oh, he has this- No crap, hey? That's an extra 3,000 coins we didn't have before. So elixir, we haven't seen a bramble seed yet. We tried to use it before, but we failed miserably. <laughs> Um, wow, we might be able to be, be able to buy everything here now. But be bop bada boop bop is what I was like kind of saying there for some weird reason. I don't know why. As I'll buy that for him as well. Good good. Silver circlet. Okay, you guys have that already. Actually, it might be possible for us to max out our armor here. I'm gonna think of it. Sure. Oh, that was only two. That was not worth it at all. Like, yeah, max out, sure, why not? Let's do it. Freaking just done goofed it. That's wow, that's 12. Heck yes. Funny how gauntlets are better defensive than an entire shield. I think we just. Ah. Uh, ooh. Not worth it for Mia yet. She has the Elven shirt, so that's why her agility would go down if we bought her this, because Elven shirt boosts agility. Not worth it yet, but we will have to get rid of that Elven shirt eventually. Maybe the next town it'll be worth it. Oh, and chainmail. Uh oh. Okay, good. We didn't uh waste that yet. Um, nine. Is that worth it? Yeah, that's kind of worth it for you. Cool. And I'm actually pretty happy with our current setup here, so we don't have to worry about it, anyways. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode, we'll check out the inn. It's a very popular inn, it appears, with a lot of interesting characters in here. Then we'll also head north and uh, check out the castle. There's, there's a castle. Spoilers. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I apologize the next episode. I'm a bit confused of what I've done and what I haven't done. I'm in the recording session here. It's also super late and I'm super tired. So that's also a thing. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time. Actually, let's end it off. Let's end it off in the middle of town. Yeah. In the hustle and bustle. I'm not actually as busy as I thought town. Come on, everybody.